Hey everyone and happy Friday and the first day of September. My name is Kyle and this is Maker Notes. And today, Mrs. Olson is wearing the Chevron Shenanigans. It is a really beautiful shawl designed by our friend, Stephen West. This one is made out of a yarn from Sheppel called Boots. And um, it is gorgeous, everyone. You may have seen it if you're looking at the newsletter video, you probably already saw the picture, but this is what it looks like in its drapey realness. So it is a really beautiful garter stitch shawl. It's asymmetrical. It uses chevrons and eyelets and the chevrons just expand. They keep getting bigger and bigger as you progress through the project. So it starts off pretty small and grows and it goes through a series of different yarns. So let's jump back in here. So uh, let's see if I can make that look cute again for you. There you go. Uh, what yarn did we use? So I showed, I told you it was Boots, that's the yarn. And the actual colors uh, that we used, used four different colors, I'll show you all of them. But this is what Boots is. So there's four different colors that were used. This is color 2070T. Boots is 44% um, superwash wool, 42% cotton, and the balance of it uh, is nylon, the 14% that's left. So it is a really great sock yarn, which makes it fantastic for things like shawls because it means it's durable, it's hard wearing. You're gonna get years of, um, of use out of it, right? So it's four different colors. This is four, uh, 2070T. And then the next one is gonna be this one here, 2071T. And then you're gonna fade into 2385 hold on to all of them. And then the last is 2075. So these four colors are what we used and combined to create this gorgeous shawl. And it kind of just looks like that yarn um, slowly changes from one of these hand dyed colors to the next. So that one is the Meadow Mischief colorway. The other colorway that we have um, invite you to consider, there's two different ones. This one we don't have knit up as a sample, but I'm really curious and excited to see what it looks like. Starts with color 8899, which is an undyed, um, it's a it's a light uh, and dark gray, barber poly thing. So we'll start with this, this is 8899. Then it goes to 2072, that's this one here. Let's see if I can hold on to it. And you can see it's got that little bit there. The third one is 2074. So it still has that little bit of rust in there, but then it's got these purples and blues. Ah, <laughs> it's hard to hold all of these in one hand. And then the last one is 2077T, which is this really beautiful deep blue. It's got blacks in it, of course, and purple. So this, these four together are what make up Aromatic Antics. That's the colorway name for the uh, second option for the Chevron Shenanigans shawl say that fast five times. So um, that's the thing, that is the deal. It is a kit this time, which means we'll have a place on the order when you're adding the thing to your cart. If you'd like to put your um, Ravelry name in, you can do that. And we'll send the pattern that is included in the kit to um, the Ravelry library. If you don't have Ravelry or you don't use it, then we're gonna send it to the email that is um, that you use on file or use when you check out, we'll have that. In your order. Um, we will print a copy of the pattern. We're buying it from Stephen West through Ravelry. So you'll get a printed copy of it, a digital copy, either email or uh, through your to your library, whichever one you uh, tell us you want. So in the kit, you're going to get the four hanks of the yarn. And you're also going to get, because Stephen requested or su suggested a specific needle size. This is a 47 inch Scassell Unicorn. Uh, these are made by Addy. It is a size five, which is 3.75 millimeter. And my favorite thing about the unicorn needles is the pink cord, because the cord's really fun. So two things I like about this cord. It is easy to see the printed information on it. These cords are printed with the size and length information and all of that. And the tip itself is not a super sharp tip. So if you are not a fan of the turbo pointy tip, this is the, uh, the more sort of rounded blunt tip. Um, what else can I tell you? Has a spiraling texture. That's something else I could tell you. So it is um, 
it is interesting. The texture is interesting. The cord is pink and we like that needle a lot. So you get to try it out and maybe Unicorn is your favorite new needle. I don't know. It could be. So that is all the stuff that's in that kit. We have those two colorways to choose from. We won't be able to do custom colorways for this, but, um, but we have these and they're ready to go. Other stuff in the newsletter. So behind me, up there, you can see the red Maker's Bag. This is a Maker's Mercantile zippered bag. These were made for us by Della Q, and it is a nylon, um, and there is a zipper on it on the front. These are fantastic, not only for project bags, but also to store your hand knits. So if you're finished with your shawl for the season, you've worn it and loved it, and it's been washed and laundered and all of that, it's dry and ready to go, you can zip it into one of these bags, and these are great for storing your, uh, your projects so that they don't get dusty and all of that and they're ready for the next season. Comes in three different colors. There's this blue, there's the red back there, and then there's also this really beautiful, surprise, Kyle likes gray. Here's the gray one. It's got our maker's logo with uh, the fun little border around it. And again, it's by Della Q. So these were made for us by our friend Della Q. That is the bag, other stuff. What else is in here? Tapestry needles. So the tapestry needles we have, they come in these little containers. This is a set of five of these. And the container's perfect to just pop into your uh, project bag. Um, and then when you need it, you know where they are. I'm trying to just get one out of here. They all wanna come out. So there are five of these little needles in here. These needles are made by Addy. It has a wonderful, nice size eye so it's easy to get your yarn in there the tip is a really great tip so it is ready to go when you are ready to weave in the ends so there's not a whole lot of ends to weave in in this project there are four um, hanks of yarn so i guess that makes four times two potentially eight um, ends to weave in uh, but you'll have your tapestry needles when you need them so those are available and then the last thing i want to talk about in today's um, newsletter is the Maker's Night that's coming up. This is a, a, a Maker's Night. It's September the 5th, so it's next Tuesday. So right after our holiday weekend, we'll have a reminder probably in our Tuesday newsletter as well. But we're going to have our friends from So Powerful join us. And So Powerful is a nonprofit organization. They focus a lot on sewing, but perhaps you know how to sew. Um, they have a number of different bags uh, bag patterns that they uh, that are free on their website and different skill levels and all of that and the the goal is for us to sew bags that um, they will then take to um, Zambia and they pack them with hygiene pads and underwear and soap and these are gifted to um, the young girls in Zambia. And the, the girls are encouraged to stay in school all month long. And it, this, um, this gift that we're able to give empowers them to do just that. Because quite often when, um, when the girl has her menstrual cycle, then um, they're not able to go to school. And since um, the hygiene is really important, this is a thing that is uh, something that we can do from way over here to help uh, the girls stay in school so they don't fall behind in their studies and they're able to um, continue their education, which is great. Um, there is a whole lot more <laughs> that can be shared and I can't wait for the folks from So Powerful to join us. That's going to be next Tuesday again on the 5th of September. I hope you can make it. It's 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. It is absolutely free. The login information is on our calendar. Uh, go to makersmercantile.com, click on calendar. You'll see it there um, in September's uh, month, of course. Or in our newsletter, you'll also see the login information and passcode there. But uh, we do encourage you to join us. Even if you don't sew, it's really great to see the good things that people are doing in the community. So that is it for me. That is it for this Friday. We hope that you have a safe and wonderful weekend, a long holiday weekend here. Our shop is going to be closed on Monday in observance of the holiday, but we will be back at it again on Tuesday with another um, newsletter and another video and another um, project to tempt you with. So have a great holiday weekend, everyone, and we will see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.